Uh, hello, hello, good morning, Borita. Welcome, Kroizo, once again, back up. Here we are on Puzzle Combat. Um, similar theme to the last video I posted on Empires and Puzzles, this one, actually. We're going to be looking at the uh, the use of tiles and, well, in this case, charge generation. If I refer to it as mana, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, basically, the same thing, mana and charge in the two games. Uh, here we have our war. Um, opponents to hit uh, there we are, that towards the back there right so uh no i did two two attacks last night so i've used a couple of my colors uh let's see we we'll go for um, droning they're all very good actually to be fair it's a, they're a tough team to be facing um i'm going to try and knock out john uk uh so i'll probably use my green team on john uk um so if I select greens, uh, I'm selecting greens because they've already lost their tank uh, and they've all got red tanks, so I might as well use my greens. You can see I've used a few of these here as already. I think I've used um, certainly some blues. Yeah, there we go. So here we are. Um, my green team. Uh, this is... We're, so we're going to go in and we're going to be seeing if the charge is... Up, well, trying to show the charge and how you ghost in tiles uh, effectively uh, that's the idea it's always a tough one to do um, simply because of what happens with tiles and so on and so forth mm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. so it's kind of always hard to, to talk about uh, to show charge generation now obviously the green tiles when they when I move them uh, the green tiles create charge or mana from my heroes down at the bottom um, only the green tiles generate for mine, whereas the enemy heroes are gaining mana every turn just in a small way. Uh, they also gain more if my tiles hit them. So um, the green tiles, I'm going to have a three green tiles which are going to hit, two of them are going to hit uh, Anastasia, yeah, it is Anastasia, uh, and one is going to go off into space. Now the one that goes off into space will create more mana for my heroes than the ones that hit uh, Anastasia. You can see they've uh, generated a little bit of mana for Anastasia, but not very much. Um, so certainly her mana bar doesn't seem to be much more full than the rest of the enemies. The tiles that I've ghosted there, the ones which uh, which I just threw away, went straight down the middle, didn't help, uh, didn't generate any mana for it, for the uh, enemy team. But the ones that hit Anastasia did and didn't do any damage because I haven't got any heroes of that colour. Um see this this should hopefully this next move will finish anastasia off um so but she dodged all of them oh great there we are. well that's helpful thanks for that uh, but um mm, well, that is annoying so her but uh i don't know if she, she gains i assume she doesn't gain the mana charge from when she dodges them uh again oh, they've got a lot of dodges on this team Right, um, I'm going to keep trying to kill Anastasia, I think, for now. Oh, uh, did that, those two in the wrong order, that one we've got. Yeah, keep dodging. What weapon she got? 16% dodge chance. I mean, it's, she seems to be doing an awful lot of dodging for 16% chance. Um, there you go. Anyway, never mind. So those tiles there, a lot of them were ghosted down that middle gap again. It's often, the, the gap is often in the middle, um, simply because you tend to take out the enemy tank first, just because of the way the game works. It's fairly rare that you you end up taking up someone off the side. Um, not able to generate much in the way of mana because there's very, very few green tiles going off. I think one of them got hit by a bomb. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, um, that's not going well. Let's see. Oh, obviously, you're not going to win this raid. Uh, might have done better if Anastasia did 15% dodge, didn't allow her to dodge every single green tile. And that's way above 15% or 16% her dodge there because she's just dodged literally everything. Um, there we are. Sometimes the game feels like that. Hey, oh, right, uh, let's try, I uh, didn't really have a great demonstration, let's try Boomer Canada. Um, I'm going to use my, 
like this is my reserve blue team. Um, oh, all right. I think I'm out of reserve blue, so I've got all my blues used, have I? Okay, uh, so just a ton of blues and one random. Uh, this is like my sort of this is my team that would normally go last, but I'm just going to try and knock out the tank uh, with blue tiles. That's the the vague hope, though. If it goes like it did last time, literally every tile will miss, uh, or she'll dodge them or whatever. Uh, bum, 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 bum. So I can't ghost any tiles at the minute because every tile has got to hit uh, an opponent. Um, that's simply because of where the where we are. Um, there's no holes to ghost tiles into. Wow, she's um hopefully this tile will finish her off. Oh there are a few. I'd have been annoyed if all of that had not managed to uh, to do any damage. Oh now uh, ghost these purple and red tiles up the middle or some of them so that they don't uh, generate too much mana for the enemy. Because I can't they aren't gonna do any damage, or at least they do one tile damage per turn. Now you can see I haven't gained a huge amount of mana um in the last few of the tiles that have hit people. Um, but this is this set of blue tiles. I'm about far off now. We'll go straight down the middle and we'll generate more mana for my team. So you can see it does quite uh, goes quite a long way to filling up a mana bar. Um, whereas the green tiles there, which as you can see hit um, Mr. Magnet, uh, didn't generate many much uh, charge for uh, Victoria there in the bottom. Uh, again, it's 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 really tough. To, it's really hard to show, but the um, the blue tiles that miss here will generate more ma more charge for my heroes than the ones that hit. Um, although that said, um, the blue tiles also do do quite a bit of damage uh, because of the, the heavy color stacking I've got going on here. Now, there's uh, I've heard that if I hit an enemy hero with tiles of the same color. It generates more mana. Um, again, I'm just going to struggle to show that here or to prove it. Um, so these green tiles, uh, they're not going to be such a tough one to demonstrate this because you've always got charge going off in different directions. Um, and it's always hard to say exactly how much tile is, charge is generated per tile and so on because. You don't get like any little handy numbers pop up over the enemy heroes like you do with um, uh, with damage. Doo -doo -doo. Uh, health goes up. Um, boom. I'm just going to throw these in here. Now, in theory, these, these three blue tiles that hit Anastasia um, should actually uh, give her more charge than normal tiles. Than like yellow or red or purple tiles, um, because they're the same color as her, which you might be able to see. Uh, let's just try that. Yeah, I did maybe a little bit. Very hard to say uh, on that one. Um, so that's that's the kind of idea of ghosting tiles and so on and so forth. Uh, and I'm going to hit Boomer Canada again, but this time I'm going to take a like stronger team. I'm sticking to Monochrome because. Frankly, they're all very, very strong. Uh, and knocking them out, I've used my best team. I think my best team won. Uh, and I think my second best team, I think, I can't even remember if they won or lost. I fell asleep. <laughs> really tired. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, let's see. So here we go. So again, you can see the sort of down. Now, now I've got a bigger space to ghost tiles into, so I can get rid of these green tiles, which aren't going to do any damage. I can ghost off. Um, a lot more of the blue tiles, the purple tiles. One of them will generate me slightly more charge. The other, but the other one will do more damage because it's uh, I've got lots of colors uh, tile uh, damage color stacked, and similar thing here. It's not a bad time to blow that red uh, red grenade because there's a nice big sort of gap. Uh, not not screen's not covered in red so i'm not feeding them enemy too much mana this hopefully will kill rex there we go nice um so you can see the power there of um very heavy color stack uh team especially against a hero of the opposite color because it was just like 
Rex was just sort of standing there, minding his own business, and then bam! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! He was dead. Um, do 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 do. Tires. Da, 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 da. Um, so again, the more spaces you've got, the more you can ghost tiles. The more you can generate a bit of uh, a bit of mana fairly quickly. Uh, these tiles here are going to just. Can you see they pushed the charge bar for Mr. Magnet up quite a lot because a lot of them hit him. Similarly here. So at the moment, in a lot of ways, what I want to do is, other than purple tiles, I want to just avoid hitting Mr. Magnet. Uh, and purple tiles, unfortunately, because uh, although, you know, I, I, where I am colour stacked with lots of purples, uh, the purple tiles don't do that much damage against Mr. Magnet because he's purple too, whereas the, uh, the rest of the tiles... Uh, the, the more sort of standard, uh, sorry, the special attacks should all do uh, just a sort of standard level of damage. These tiles, none of them will hit him, so they'll generate quite a lot of charge. As you can see, tons of charge there, which is really helpful. And then, bum, 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 bye bye, Mr. Magnet. That is, so that's kind of, yeah, like I say, it's a really difficult one in some ways to demonstrate the whole, um, the whole concept of um ghosting tiles it's it, it's one of those which which is, yeah uh it, it's not always that easy to show because sometimes your tiles just go floating into the into the ether uh, and you can't really sort of you can't really sort of say which ones have generated the most power and whatever else um yeah let's go for that not really expecting to win that match here Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Um, obviously, at the moment, I can't go to tiles because there's no holes. Yeah, open up a hole, so now I can begin to ghost tiles. Uh, I'll throw, ghost these green, these blue ones out of the way because I don't want them to do any. I don't want them basically. Oh, I put. Stupid, I um, made a silly error here, which is I put Flint in the wrong place. Uh, he should be between two heroes, so his counter-attack does the most it can. So, um, yeah, really silly error here. Um, I'm going to save um, Talia's attack for now, because I'm pretty sure... At least one of two of these enemy are going to have a uh, have some kind of boost for when they go off. No, I think there'd be a boost. They've already got. I mean, they've got the entirely as a debuffer, so I can remove the buff. Was the idea was my thinking there, but uh, not actually relevant for uh, Minamoto. Minamoto and uh, da, 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 da. Stinger. Oh, it's going very well. Well, I wasn't expecting it to go this well. Gosh. Only thing that would have, would have set it off more nicely there was if she'd if he'd hit uh, hit Flint whilst his counter attack was still up. Anyway, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. just going to hit him. I know red tiles are not going to do much against him, but there we are. Uh, now the red tiles I'm going to fire up this side should hopefully get Talia ready. If she so there we are, plenty of charge with Talia because the ghost did. Uh, and I can get rid of one of his attack boosts. You can't remove the one that comes up um, for the war, if you see what I mean. So, because it's an attack boosting war, uh, that one is, that one stays up whatever I do. Um, I can't. So he's got what is it? Uh, plus do, 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 plus thirty percent attack, and it can't can't be cleared um, because that is what he is get, he gains just because it's an alliance war. Um, Now, weirdly here, um, it's a kind of double-edged sword, because actually what I want to do now is give him man give him charge as quickly as I can, because I want him to kill himself um, with by hitting my heroes whilst Flint's counter-attack is up. And there we go. Hooray! So that was actually a, um, <laughs> that was a very good win. <laughs> I didn't expect that. Anyway, I hope that kind of covers some of the theory of ghosting tiles and... Um, why you do it, uh, why you do it with the colours that you're using. 
uh, and also while you're doing it with the colors that you're not using so if you've got a color you haven't got any heroes of that color then it's a good way of getting rid of tiles is to ghost them into space because you don't want to hit enemies to give them charge um, if you've got heroes it can be a good idea to ghost tiles because then it generates more charge for the special attacks uh, but then obviously sometimes you want the tiles to hit people because the tile damage can be very high as well so it's kind of you have to think it through what's going to be most effective at any given time and yeah those are kind of the key points really anyway thank you very much for watching um as ever it's been deeply deeply emotional please remember to like share comment and subscribe as i always say and may death come swiftly to your enemies this is fun ben wishing you all the best take care and have a, have a good day